Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and hello if you're new here, welcome, hi, my name is Holly Boone. So, I had so many requests on my last video of me talking about the makeup that I was wearing and I've actually changed my, basically nearly my whole routine in the last couple of weeks. So, the first thing I'm going to do is prep my skin. I'm going to use the Ole Henriksen, this is the Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream. I'm obsessed with this moisturiser, like... This is how obsessed I am with it. I use it every single day. It's so hydrating. It's just one of the best moisturizers in my opinion. And it's not greasy. It doesn't break me out. It's just so good. Um, also, I did get an LVO lash lift. And I'm obsessed with it. It's made my lashes so much better. Because my lashes were always so straight. And just, yeah, annoying. Next, I'm going to use the Ole Henriksen. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, by the way. Um, banana Bright Eye Cream. Prepping your skin is so important. Like, you have to prep your skin for makeup. Because um, it just... I always feel like my makeup will not sit right if I don't prep my skin. So, moisturizers, eye creams, all of that good stuff. I did just cleanse my skin twice as well before doing this. Um, and I actually used the foam cleanser from the same brand. <laughs> it's gonna look like I was sponsored by them, but I'm not. So this is the um, Banana Bright Face Primer. Um, and I like to use this to kind of add like glow to my skin underneath my makeup. So I'm just gonna pump some of this in the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use this little stipple brush from MAC. The number's actually rubbed off because this is really old. I've actually had this brush for probably five years now. Maybe four or five years. So good. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna buff this on the high points of my face. This gives me that natural glow so I don't have to actually put highlight on because I like that natural looking glow. I don't like it when it's kind of like powdery highlights set on the skin. I just like to have a natural looking glow. So this just looks amazing under makeup. So next, I've been doing things backwards. So I've been doing my concealer, my contour, and then applying just a tiny bit of foundation on top to blend it together. And it's made such a difference to my makeup routine. Um, I just think it looks so much better than before. I don't really know why it took so long to do this. I've seen so many people do this technique. And I actually used to do this technique ages ago and I kind of stopped doing it. I don't really know why. So for concealer, I've been into a bright under eye recently. I really like how it makes my face look. I like a bright under eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush my brow hairs up like this. And I'm not actually going to fill my brows in just yet. But I am going to underline them with some concealer. Um, but I'm going to do my brows last because I want them to look really fluffy. Kind of like a little bit of product, not too much. So I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to put this on my lids. And then I'm going to use this to carve out my brows. I don't like my brows to look too carved out either. Like I don't want, like I kind of try and thin the product out so it doesn't look too harsh. But yeah, I'm using this MAC brush again. This is an old brush. Oh, this is a 195 brush. I'm not sure if they have this brush anymore. It's just a flat synthetic brush, so any flat synthetic brush is good. I like the LVL that I had done. It just made such a difference. Like, my lashes just look so much better. I'm also trying to grow them. I've been putting vitamin E oil, vitamin e oil on them. Just take this Sigma Precision Tapered P86 brush. And I'm gonna just pat that so there's no creases. Also thins the product out a little bit, which I like. And then I'm just gonna take some loose translucent powder and I'm gonna pat that on top. So next I'm going to apply the uh, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Vanilla under my eyes. I like to take a little bit of product and then kind of build it up because sometimes I'll just be going too ham. I should be putting too much on straight away. And then I like to take the Sigma Foundation F60 brush and just pat this under my eyes. This is so much better than a beauty blender. I mean, I do go over it with a beauty blender afterwards just to make sure it's evenly blended. But this doesn't take away any product. It keeps the amount of product that you apply. It doesn't absorb too much. And it's really soft under the eyes as well. So this is what I've recently been doing and it makes a difference in my opinion. This concealer has been really good. Like, I've been using this concealer kind of on and off in the last few months. I also really like the um, Makeup Revolution, this one. I'm gonna use it to cream contour in a minute, I really love that. I like the consistency of the one, but I just prefer the color. 
of this concealer. And then I'm going to apply this in the center of my face. So I'm going to apply this just here. Down the bridge of my nose. And on my chin. So yeah, I'll kind of just leave it like that and then I'll just um, go over it with a beauty blender in a second. But for the most part, I like to blend it out with this brush. So I'm going to take this flat end of the beauty blender and I'm going to just press over this. This is actually a tart sponge. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Infinite Long Wear Concealer in the shade 12.7. And I use this as a cream bronzer. So I just apply this to the outer part of my face and also just under my... I kind of use this as like a contour, but it's not as harsh as a contour and it's a bit warmer. I like it because it warms my face up. I'm going to use the Zoeva Cream Cheek 128 brush. This is so good for blending out creams. And I'm just going to buff over this. Yeah, this brush is so good. So I like to buff when it gets to the cheek. This concealer dries down fast, so you need to work with it quickly. And then also here, I'm just going to apply it here on the temples as well because I'm kind of using it as a contour but not really but kind of with the excess that's on the brush I like to go along my jawline um I don't like to apply it direct on there at the moment just because I feel like sometimes it can just be too much now I'm going to do foundation and I don't do much foundation I just do a little bit so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation, one of my absolute favourites. So I use the shade 3W1 and I'm just going to put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand, just a tiny bit of foundation. I'm going to use this flat side of my beauty blender and I'm going to kind of just pick up some product and I'm just dispersing it on the back of my hand before I apply it to my face. And then I'm just going to go over this. I'm just going to go over everything with the foundation but just a tiny bit of foundation because what well, because i put all these creams on my face already i don't need a lot and then on the forehead just a bit yeah this shade from makeup revolution is so nice this is like cream bronzer i love it it's like the perfect shade if i want more of like a overall contour then i'll mix this one yeah sometimes i like to do this i like to take l'oreal where is it this one L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade 340 and I like to mix it with this one that I've used already if I want more of like a contour shade but still keep it a little bit warm but if I'm just going for like that bronzy look then I just use the Makeup Revolution one. Do you notice how it's literally blended my... everything looks so much more blended when you do it this way around. So now I'm going to set everything. So what I like to do, I was for a while, I was using the Kylie powder. So yeah, I was using this for a while um, in the soft pink. Love this if you've not tried it. But I found one from Morphe. So if you can't get hold of the Kylie one, then the Morphe have this one. Um, this is the brightening pink setting powder. And it's not as pink as the Kylie one. But this is what it looks like. I like it under the eyes because it gives you that kind of soft pink. It ties in really well with blush, and I love blush. Um, but I don't like to go in with with just this pink one. I like to mix a little bit of translucent, so I kind of do mostly the pink one and then a little bit of translucent. Like you won't even be able to tell really that I've used pink under the eyes, but once you do all the blush and everything, it just looks really nice. You know how Kylie Jenner just has that bright pinky under eye it just looks it just ties in better with blush in my opinion it just looks good anyway so i'm gonna set my under eye with this powder i'm gonna gonna kind of avoid this area because i did put some glow there so i kind of want to keep that i don't want to then make it matte so i'm then gonna take a lot of powder i'm gonna bake down the sides of my nose then i'm gonna contour my nose I'm going to actually use, I like to use this to contour my nose, it's the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade Deep Cool because I feel like it's the perfect shade for nose contour. It's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's just like a really good shade. Um, and I'm going to use my Morphe M433 brush. I'm going to just buff this down the front of my nose. Yeah, this is a really good shade for nose contour. 
No, I'm gonna just buff this on the end of the nose. I'm just gonna take this brush from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just gonna dust that off. Then I just kind of pat the excess in. So I'm next gonna take a bronzer and I'm going to apply this to my lids. This is a fluffy brush from Doll Beauty. It's really good. If you've not tried their brushes, they're so good. I don't like doing too much on my eyes as of recent. I literally just do bronzer because it ties in with everything. Obviously from going out, it's a different story, but for daytime makeup, this is what I do. If I want to be like snatched, I don't want to be doing too much, you know, I don't want to be doing the most. And I just go all over the lid as well. It's kind of buff it all over. I personally can't not put bronze on my lids because I feel like it looks a bit weird. I like to have everything tied in because I'm going to apply bronzer to the rest of my face in just a second. So it, it just ties everything in. It just looks way better. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to take the bronzer again and I'm going to buff it under the eye. So I'm going to apply bronzer to the rest of my face. I'm just going to take this big fluffy brush. This is actually from... I don't remember, but I remember I got this in America. I got this from Target. <laughs> I don't actually know what the brand is. I don't need too much, just a little bit, you know. And then I'm gonna go along my jawline. I'm gonna do blush next. I'm gonna use the um, H&M Cosmetics Feel and Peachy, because I don't use anything else. I'm just gonna smile like a weirdo. And then I'm gonna just bring this all the way back here. I like to apply a lot of this at the minute. I love blush. I like to use the brush that I used for bronzer because I feel like it helps tie it in a bit better because this already has a bit of bronzer on it. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it just works better. So now I'm gonna do our brows and then we'll finish on the eyes and the lips. So I'm gonna just brush the hairs up. And then all I do is I'm just going to take this uh, NYX micro brow pencil in the shade black, which I've been using for years. Do I use anything else, please? Um, and I'm going to just underline a little bit. And then I'm going to just brush upwards. Not too much, mostly just at the front here because I feel like my brows are a little bit too short. And then I'm going to just continue to brush it out. I really don't want a lot. Ow, my toe, my toe, my toe, my toe. Why have I been sat like that? <laughs> Again, I'm just gonna underline a little bit and then I'm just gonna brush upwards, especially just at the front here. Mostly just at the front. I'm gonna do a little bit here because I have quite a sparse area just there. I'm gonna take brow gel. So I used the Morphe brow gel, now I love this. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but this one's just as good and it's cheaper, so we live for that. Um, and I'm just gonna brush upwards. Brow gel is what's gonna make your brows look fluffy. I feel like you cannot really get a fluffy looking brow without brow gel. Um, it just doesn't really work in my opinion. Like that looks okay, but it makes such a difference when you put brow gel in to how fluffy they look. So whilst my brows are drying, because I am gonna comb them down, I'm not gonna even like that. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic. And then I'm going to stick some lashes on. So, lashes, I'm just going to stick these on. These are coming soon. I know I've been saying that for a while, but um, it's just been a hold up because of what's happened in China. But these are going to come soon because I had so many of you ask me what lashes. Um, and I just love them. I wear them mostly. They're kind of like my daytime ones. So, yeah, I'm going to leave those to dry for a second and I'm going to finish with my lips before I stick them on. So I'm going to just line my lips with um, caviar from Morphe. This has a little bit of a shimmer in it. But I weirdly quite like it. And then I kind of just fill my lips in with it. The H&M Equals Mags Liquid Lipstick in the shade Living. And I just do a little bit like this. Just tap it. And I blend it with my finger. And then I'll take the lip liner and kind of blend it. So when I first stick them on, I have to like point them up to the sky and they look crazy and then I have to just pinch them together. And then I'll just kind of push them down. 
because otherwise they just like and it's wild if you've had this done to your lashes and you're like i cannot stick false lashes on then try with tweezers because it does actually help loads i'm trying to do it with your fingers see when i first stick them on this is how crazy they look and then i just get the tweezers there because i don't pinch them to get them close to the lash line and then i kind of push it down so yeah now i'm just gonna go and then I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic. It's my favourite. I'm going to take this end of, I'm going to take the spoolie end of the brow pencil and I just run it along the top. Just lightly, otherwise I'm going to take your foundation off. And it just pushes the hairs down. So that is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.